Okay, question five. A balloon pump is made from a cylinder in an, with an internal diameter of six centimeters and a height of 20, which is given here. Uh, as shown, each time the pump is pumped, it passes one full cylinder of air into a balloon. So every time you pump it, every single bit of the volume that's in there gets pushed out. Uh, show that the volume of one full cylinder of air is 180 pi centimeters cubed. So how do you show that? So the volume of the cylinder can be got from uh, the formula for a cylinder, which is in your log tables. So that formula is pi or squared by the height. Okay. So what we have there then is pi, uh, we've got a, a diameter across, an internal diameter of uh, six, which means the radius is half of that, which is three. So this is three squared multiplied by 20 centimeters, which is gonna give me pi by nine by 20 which is going to give me 180 pi, 180 pi centimeters cubed. Okay, so that's the answer. So that's what they want you to do to show that. So crank in your values into the formula, which you get from, you can get from the log tables. Okay, so here's your, your formula for uh, the volume of a cylinder. Okay, so that's what they want there. Uh, part B, Dara is inflating a balloon in the shape of a sphere. When fully in a balloon in the shape of a sphere. When fully inflated, the balloon has a radius of 15. Okay, find the volume of Dara's balloon when it's fully inflated. Give your answer in centimeters cubed in terms of pi. Right. So, Again, here we're looking for volume, and there's a volume of sphere formula that you can get from the log tables, which is 4 all over 3 multiplied by pi or cubed. So that formula is in the log tables for the volume of a sphere. Okay, so here I just apply this, so 4 all over 3 by pi and the radius has been given as 15 so i need to uh, multiply that three times so 15 by 15 by 15 uh, and when i do that i'm going to get an answer of 4500 pi centimeters cubed Okay, so that is the answer to the second part. The third part, sorry, uh, B2. Dara pumps the pump every second. So once a second, he pumps the pump. How many seconds will it take Dara to fully inflate this balloon? So you know how much volume is in the cylinder, this one. So I'm just going to write this here. So that's number one. And you know how much volume you need to to pump into the, the sphere. That's number two. And you can take the two of those to work out the answer to this this next part. So it's going to be four thousand five hundred from part two above. Okay. Uh, divided by what was my answer above? Uh, 180. And that came from part one above. So my answer is 2.5 seconds. Sorry, 25, I beg your pardon. 25, so there's no dot there, 25 seconds. If you divide 180 into that, you're gonna get 25 seconds. So that's how long it's gonna take Dara to fully inflate the Right, part uh, C. 
So Gustav is inflating a bigger balloon in the shape of a sphere. So it's another spherical balloon. He also pumps the pump every one second. His balloon is fully inflated after 50 seconds. So Dara's was fully inflated after uh, 25 seconds. Uh, he's. We have to assume now that he's using the same pump. He uses the pump every once every second. They're not saying it's a different pump, so we must assume it's the same pump. Uh, find the radius of Gustav's balloon when it's fully inflated. Give your answer to one decimal place. Okay, so we're going to assume uh, they haven't said it. So I'm going to just write it down. They haven't said it, so we're just going to write it down. Assume same pump used. Okay, I'm just making that very clear. Uh, but what that means then is the pump is going to have the same amount of volume as the one above. So that's 180. So I'm going to create or try and create an equation then. So 180 um, pi centimeters cube multiplied by 50 seconds is how much volume this balloon is going to have so that is 9000 okay so you can see it's twice the other one uh, 9000 pi okay so if i then use the formula so four, four all over three pi r cubed is equal to 9000 so that's the formula again for the sphere coming from the log tables. <coughs> um, so if I take, <coughs> simplify that by taking the four thirds out of it, uh, I'm going to be left with r cubed is equal to 6750. Um, to simplify that further, bring myself to r. If I get the cubic root, of that of 6750 do that on your calculator that's going to give me 18.8988 you've been asked for one decimal place so we're going to bring that to 18.9 centimeters so the radius then of this this balloon we're talking about is 18.9. So that's the answer for part C.